Well, a national security journalist with access to White House sources told One America's John Hines that President Obama and the DNC overtly lobbied the Ukrainians to collude with their political attacks on the 2016 Trump campaign. Now, an investigative reporter for The Hill, John Solomon, sat down with One America's John Hines to talk about what he has reported about these Democrat attempts at collusion. Take a look. So the president supposedly picked up the phone and called uh, the Ukrainian uh, president. Why is that wrong? Or is it? Yeah, actually, I don't think they just picked up the phone. I think it was a plan called. Uh, Zelensky was a television com comedian who just uh, is starting in his first political job. Ukraine's a critical um, ally early on. Uh, my sources tell me the vice, uh, the President Trump was not eager to talk to him, wasn't sure that he was up to the job, didn't know what good would come of a call. In the summer, uh, they finally get a call together, and it's alleged in that call, and I have reason to believe it's true, that the President uh, Trump said, you know, if you want to do something to help the United States, since we're allies, could you look at this and resolve this question with Hunter Biden? has been out there, and it under, my, your prosecutors are apparently trying to get us evidence. Can you get to the bottom of it? That's my understanding. Uh, Why is that wrong, or is it? Well, uh, it will come down to the question of, was, is President Trump doing this because he wants this issue to be resolved for the good of America, or does he want to do it because he's trying to dirty up Joe Biden in case Joe Biden runs against him in 2020? Who knows what the president's intentions were? Only the president knows. But I will say this. It is very hard for the Democrats to be the high moral ground on this because there is an irrefutable body of evidence that long before Donald Trump had that conversation, and let's, let's give the worst case scenario to it. President Trump was trying to get a leg up in the 2020 election. Let's assume that's it. That is preceded by two years of Democrats knowingly and willfully soliciting Ukraine to try to get involved in our election. Again, facts in record, been reported on the record with documents. I reported that in January of 2016, at the beginning of the 2016 election, the Obama White House, the National Security Council, the Obama Justice Department, invited Ukraine prosecutors to Washington. First time they'd ever done it. They brought them to Washington, gave them a tour, talked them up real well, and they said one thing when they were leaving. We'd really like you to help us build a case against Paul Manafort, who was about to become President Trump's uh, campaign chairman. Uh, that gets lost in this. If, that, if President Trump's call is politicized, the Obama White House's overture is clearly uh, an effort to engage a foreign power in our election. But let's go further. In March and April of 2016, on the record from the Ukraine embassy here in Washington, so the official ambassador, Ukraine's official ambassador to the United States, gave me this statement. In March and April of 2016, the Democratic National Committee, in the form of a woman named Ms. Chalupa, came to the embassy and asked for the embassy to get Ukraine involved in the 2016 election. They asked for all dirt that they, Ukraine might have on Paul Manafort. And they asked if, when President Poroshenko, the Ukrainian president, came to the United States, if he could make a statement dirtying up um, uh, Paul Manafort in the Trump campaign. That is asking a foreign power to get involved in our 2016 election. And I'm, I'll take you to just last month, in August, Democratic Senator Chris Murphy of uh, Connecticut, member, I believe, of the Intelligence Committee, if I remember, if not the Foreign Relations Committee, but important uh, senator, uh, goes to Ukraine. He meets with the new president, Zelensky. By his own admission, Chris Murphy admits that he, and brags that he did this, just like Joe Biden bragged he got the prosecutor fired. When I was there, I told President Zelensky, if you cooperate with Rudy Giuliani and President Trump to, uh, on Hunter Biden, you will lose your Democratic support for your foreign aid in Ukraine. Now, which party is politicizing and getting Ukraine involved in the election? Even if you take the position that President Trump was being political when he asked for that, it's preceded by two years of the Democratic Party repeatedly asking Ukraine to insinuate itself in the United States election. And those are the sort of things that I think when you don't get in the media today, you're only getting half the story, just like we only got half the story on Russia collusion at the beginning of that uh, now debunked scandal. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.